Revelations 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bound, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Lavakarium, Shah Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. Now, I don't hear a lot of talk about this bill that was just signed, right? It was the bill that was just signed by Biden, right? Let me see something here. This is bill number, as you can see, bill number 14067. That's the title, right? Now, this bill is the power punch is a little notice executive order, right? That's going to keep track of all digital assets that's to be spent, <laughs> Throughout North, Central, and South America On everything Everything that you do Friends, charity So on and so forth You can read it Big Brother is watching This is, this is, this is, this is happening This is going down No one's talking about this You know, this is Dabu 7 You know, he brought this out This is um a day old You know, but I was waiting today To see if you know, uh, the mainstream media was going to pick this up. They didn't pick this up. But the whole full elect, you know, we on it. I seen a lot of, you know, some a few Akim, they was touching on it. You know, we coming closer to this Akim, Akwath. We in that day, man. The Lord is about to bring down his hell fire upon this place. Prophecy is in full effect. This is Dapu 7. If you missed it, Joe Biden has signed this executive order numbered 14067 with the title Ensuring Responsible Development of Digital Assets. And this ushers in the beginning pushes of this CBDC, this digital currency that the government is going to try to push on the people here in America. And if there's anything out there that you should be weary of it's this if there's anything out there that can strip your freedoms and your privacy all together one more time revelations 13 verse 16 and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bound to receive a m-a-r-k in their right hand on their forehead and that's going to be that r-f-i-d chip radio Frequency identification chip, and they have another name for it. I forget it right now for Europe, you know. But that's going to be the device that New World Order is going to be shrunk down to the size of a grain of rice and plant it into your body, and you will not be able to function on the grid. Right now, you use this uh, dollar to go into the store to purchase whatever items, whether household, you know, whether something's for your your business whether it's something for your school, whether it's something for your grandkids, your niece, your nephew, for your children, for you. You use the dollar to make that happen. That's quickly about to switch. You will not be able to function. You will not be able to operate without this chip, without this grain of rice. And they're gonna embed it in you. They're gonna engrave it in your skin. That's why it's called a karagma, a karax. An engraving that's going to stick with you. And you're going to upload your information, your health information. And that's going to be a pass, a permission slip that you are down with the new world order. You can pass. You can function. You can go. You can go to the stores. You can go into the freezers. You can go shopping. You can continue on in Great Babylon as long as you have this in you. This is where it is coming to. 
This is coming. We we at the point of our Lord's return, and upon the uh, implantation of this grain of rice, all hell is going to break loose. Massive rebellions all across the earth, and then our Lord shows up. It's this. I've been warning about this over and over again, but it seems like as, as the days pass, we get closer and closer to them rolling this out. They've done it in other countries, and we've seen in other countries, like in Africa, if the people rise and they buck back or they reject the CBDC, well, then it falls apart. And check and out what's going on. Go and, uh, he brings up Africa in Nigeria. Last week, they were flipping over the banks because before the turn of the new year, they restricted them to $45 ATM withdrawals. Then it went from that to basically nothing. Everything ran by the phone. They shut the banks down. They went berserk over there in Nigeria. Back to square one to figure out how to try to get the people to accept it, which is the issue that they're facing in multiple other countries. Many people seeing that when it comes to these CBDCs, this is all about government control. Every little move anyone makes will be taxed. The lemonade stand, the yard sale, everything. And the this CBDC, which is a central bank digital currency now, you got to pay attention to the wording. Because the central bank is controlling everything through this dollar. Now they're removing the dollar and replacing it with fictitious coins that's ran by the internet that's going to be controlled by the satellites that's going to run through your RFID that's going to be placed in your body. You're, you're going to become the city. You're going to be part of the smart city. Everything you do will be monitored, traced. You're now a prisoner to the new world order. That's, that's prophecy. That's scripture. Uh, Revelation 13, 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save or accept he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What's the number of his name? 666. Shai Stai Stigma. Okay. And stigma is something that stick with you. That's the that's the whole system, man. And the people, they're going to put it up in them. Because they want to survive. They want to go on in life. They love this kingdom. To an underground system. By default. And in that system, obviously gold and silver, along with other things, are going to be used to barter. We come to find out, as I covered on the live stream, that the Perth Mint has been caught selling diluted gold to people around the world, to China specifically. China's the one that, that caught it. Perth Mint is the largest mint, the only mint in the world that's backed by a government. And they have been caught loading the gold with little bits of silver or copper to offset the weight. Oh, so you know that that, that was going to happen. You know, Esau is big on, you know, um, watering down, you know, the materials. Just like with, with, with the denarii down there in Rome. They watered it down, man. You know, that penny, that penny in Rome was, was a day wage for a soldier. And they watered that down. So, yes, they watering down the silver. So all you end of the world preppers who talk about go out and get your... Canadian silver dollar. Yeah, right. And don't come back with no electronic ticket. <laughs> you know, everything's faulty in this land. We at the end. This is big time. As other stories are telling us that solar energy production from here on out could require most of the global silver reserves by 2050. A lot of scientists talking about this. Because of where the new technology is going to go and that no other metal out there on the planet can do it like silver. You may think, oh, they can make, they can use knockoffs, they can do this, they can do that. Well, silver is so unique 
It possesses the lowest electrical resistance among all metals, even gold, at standard temperatures. I think there's going to be a taking off in the markets here of gold and silver. And I hope folks have it, but you need to be checking it to make sure that it's all the right uh, rarity. If it's 999, you need to make sure that it's that. If it's 24 karat, you need to be checking it and testing it to the best of your ability. We also have other countries poised to ditch the dollar. India now saying that they're going to start trading with Sri Lanka in rupees. And more and more countries ditching the dollar. As our government is trying to transition it into a CBDC. Join me. Come on now. On right, right, that, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, we in this day. We here. We here. Akim Akwath. Revelations 14, verse 9. This is the penalty. You want to cop out to the system? You scared? You low on faith? You want to stay with old Benjamin? Right? You believe in the, in, in, in the system? This is Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, which is this system here, the new world order, you worshiping the beast? The beast that rose up in Revelation 13 was NATO, uh, the, the EU, and America sitting on top of them, right? So if you want to um, worship the beast and his image, this is the image of Rome, man. Not the picture of Caesar Bourget, nah. This place here, this is the likeness of that ancient Roman Empire and receive his mark, M-A-R-K, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb, which is our Lord, Yahweh So you go ahead and sell out to the system because it ain't going to be long. The Lord not going to have people walking around for years doing exchanges with this device in them, just going on with their happy lives, paying for college, paying for groceries, paying for gas, getting in relationships, Starting new families, adopting kids, adopting dogs. You're walking around with robotics up in you, defying nature. The Lord ain't going to allow this to go on. This is all a test. This is all one big test. And a whole four elect, let's get it. You know, they're going to pass the test. That's why we say, call all y'all, Bashim Yom Shah. You know, y'all, Razizah, we are that number. Revelations 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation. That hour is not to be confused with the one hour in the 18th chapter. This hour represents a time period, a eon. So it's going to be a time period of temptation, which shall come upon all the world in the orca many sense, the globe, to try them that dwell or belong upon the earth or the world. These people belong here. So they already failed the test. And the elect, the Lord going to turn that faith up. And we're going to be walking like madmen out here, man. Y'all rock the Zah, living strictly on faith and miracles. That's the time we coming in. Hey, you see it? You see it? Biden just signed that bill. We getting closer. Close. Aki and Makwa to that day. Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Kakutash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharala.
to the hopeful elect. We almost did, y'all. Shalom.